and welcome to my channel. Today, we are gonna be doing something new. We're gonna be unboxing this kit. It's the Abandoned Astronaut and it's by the company Adventurous. And they sent this to me for review and I'm very, very excited to get into it and to see what it's all about. So if you are new to my channel, I created this channel as a homeschooling resource to do unboxings like we're doing today, to give you curriculum ideas, organizational ideas, and ways to invite Christ into your homeschool space. So if you're interested in those things, please hit that subscribe button and let's open this box, yay! So I wanted to start out by telling you what Adventurous is. So Adventurous is an organization building storytelling experiences to take families on storytelling adventures through their local neighborhood or inside their own homes. And it just sounds really exciting, it sounds really fun. It could be something you do at the end of a long homeschool day just to give your kids a break, or maybe it, you do it on a game schooling day because we do game schooling around here usually on Fridays, so you could maybe do it then. So I'm excited to play it with my family and just kind of see how it goes. So today we're gonna be reviewing the Abandoned Astronaut and in a few weeks I will also be posting another video with another kit that we're gonna be talking about. So look for that one, it's gonna be coming up. And this kit is $15 and you can get it a little bit cheaper with my discount code, it's 10% off that. And the code is Paulson, which is my last name. So I'll put that all down below so that you can put it in and get a discount code. So let's open up this kit and see what it has in store for us. It's just cute, guys. This is such a cute little, it's a cute little box. So when we open it up, it says, greetings, adventurers. Adventure is out there. That's what it keeps reminding me of, of up. Adventure is out there. Isn't that what it reminds you of? It should. So this has this little card on the top. And then it has a cute little note with my name on it. That's really sweet. So it says, thank you for letting us share our adventure with your family. We're excited to hear what you think. So I'm excited to, I'm excited to hear what I think too. <laughs> and then we're gonna pull out our map. Oh, I think that's what this is. We're not really sure yet, but. Oh, this has a bunch of pictures on it. So I don't know what all these are, but it looks fun. It looks, you know, very outer spacey. <laughs> So there's that in there. And then we have this envelope, this manila envelope that's probably gonna tell us what our mission is. I guess, I don't know. I have to undo it, it's kinda sticky. Okay, so we'll get in here and there's a whole bunch of stuff. And again, we're gonna play this and I'll be able to explain it a little bit better, but I just thought I'd kind of show you what comes in it. So it looks like probably a description of what we're supposed to do. <laughs> So we'll, we'll make sure we read that. And then it has a few little activity things like a little puzzle right here, it looks like, and some of our planets. I'm like, I can't remember. What are those big round things called? So some planets and then maybe a decoding thing right here. It's kind of hard to tell. It doesn't want to focus for me. There you go. And then there's a few more cards in here and this one, it, this one's perforated on the back, so I don't know if we'll rip that one apart. So that's that's what's in here for this game, for this storytelling experience. So I'm excited to try it out with my kids and just see how it goes, and I'm excited to let you know how it goes for us. kids finished playing the abandoned astronaut and it was a lot of fun honestly I think it was more fun than I thought it was gonna be I really just wasn't very sure what to expect but we we really enjoyed it and my kids my kids enjoyed it as well so I just wanted to mention a few things about it that we liked and just some information for you if you are interested in getting it so first off you will need a phone I know you guys don't know what that is but you'll need one I'm just kidding <laughs> obviously you know what a phone is because something that was really cool about this game is it uses your phone. If you, when you wanna get started, you text a number and then it starts just kind of feeding you dialogue and asking you questions, asking you to search for things. So then you're able to go and find them either on the map that it gives you or on the different clue cards and you can figure out what it wants you to do. So the objective of this game is to return an astronaut to its original dimension by going on a puzzle solving adventure. And it's really a lot of fun. And the kids, my kids really enjoyed it. 
So something I wanted to mention on the side right here, it says it's for six to 12 years old. And my, my kids couldn't have done this by themselves. So I have, you know, from three to eight years old and my, you know, six and well, she's seven, I guess my seven year old and my eight year old wouldn't have been able to do it by themselves. First of all, you know, they have to use a phone, but it also requires a fair amount of reading. And some of the words are made up words, you know, just to make a fun story, <laughs> which the story was very fun. And I really, really enjoyed the storyline going on in the text, but it also just had some words that would have been harder for my kids probably to read by themselves. So I had to sit there with them and kind of go through everything with them. And some of the activities, once we kind of guided them that way, they were able to figure it out and it wasn't so hard. So there were some things they were able to accomplish by themselves and some things that they definitely needed my help. So it's going to require an adult for younger age kids, unless your kid is very, very good at puzzle solving. <laughs> so there you go. So the first puzzle was the hardest one for me, and it'll be in a different order, I guess, depending on how you decide to play the game. But I am not like an escape room. This is kind of like an escape room. My mother-in-law also got a box that was, I can't even remember what it is, but it was all about puzzle solving, but like for adults and very like high IQ puzzle solving people. <laughs> and I am not one of those people. I didn't grow up doing a whole bunch of intricate puzzle type things like this. Like I put together a jigsaw puzzle. <laughs> and so uh, this at first was like, oh, am I even gonna be able to do this <laughs> with my kids? So my husband's like helping me cause he's the genius. And so uh, we figured it out. And then after that it was fine. <laughs> so it, it, I was able to do it and I felt really smart. So I can, I can play kids puzzles. <laughs> if you give them to me, I can solve those. Maybe <laughs> adult puzzles, like the one my mother-in-law had, I just sat there and clapped for everybody else. And that was my participation was clapping anyways. So that's just something to know, like it's going to require some adult help or supervision. And then as kids get older, maybe not so much, but I thought it was a, it's a great idea to get kids thinking differently about the world. Cause that's what these kind of intricate puzzles do is they help you look at something and you see, you know, what's on the paper, but then you have to switch your mind and see it differently. And I think that's a very, very good, like critical thinking type skill. And also just important for being in the world is being able to look at things from a new and different perspective. So I just, I really love that aspect of the game. So just so you know, it was about, it took us about 40 minutes, I think to play. So it would just kind of depend on how quickly you go through clues and how fast you read, <laughs> you know, if you need to take a break or something, but it was about 40 minutes, like start to finish for us. So I didn't think that was too bad. I thought it was a good length for a game. And then also there was just a lot of funny jokes, not some that kids would get, not like dirty jokes. That's not what I'm talking about, but there was just a lot of really fun, like play on word type jokes as the names for some of the different places in space. I'm like, what are they even called? Those places in space that they had here. I, I I'll just pull it out because I want to show you something. I don't want to give the whole game away cause it still needs to be fun for you. But some of these are really fun. So like this one, it says, take me to your reader instead of take me to your leader. <laughs> Sorry. I am just going to laugh. There was also, you know, bean me up Scotty. Again, there's a lot of really fun ones on there. A lot of things that just made me chuckle. And then also some of the storyline through the text was pretty funny too. So I really, I really enjoyed that. And I thought it was a lot of fun. So all in all, I would recommend this game. I thought it was, it was worth the money. It was worth the time. And it was just a fun, different game. I haven't played games like this with my kids. So I just thought it was a fun, different game to play with my kids. And then they're excited to see what the other one has. Cause I have another one and that review will be coming in a couple weeks. So look for that. But I, I liked it. I liked it and really enjoyed it. So again, there is the code that will be down in the description box. If you want 10% off, it's just my last name, Paulson, but you got to spell it right, which is tricky for even my mom. <laughs> so look down there and you can spell it right. And give me a thumbs up if you enjoy seeing these videos and I will see you next time.